Imagine if there was a build that could score in the paint no matter who or what was in its way. Imagine if there was a build that could dribble like a 6-2 and hit 41 contested like a pure sharp. Imagine if there was a build with such good defense that every guard would beg for a screen. Imagine if there was a build that could do all of that and still have a 95 mid-range. That build is this build, let's break the game. I would like to tell you guys, I bought a $10,000 phone and I'm getting the call, hold on. Hello, yes, this is Mr. Dirk. Yes, I was just about to tell him that you could turn $100 into $10,000 on prize picks. It's easy. First you pick your sport, then you pick your category, then you pick your players. And then you just pick if you think the player is gonna go more or less than that projection in that category. The more players you choose, the more money you make. You can literally turn $100 into 10K, bro. Like, you gotta give it a try. If that's not enough to convince you, I got a special offer if you use my code young dirk and click the link in the description prize picks will match your deposit up to 100 dollars so for example if you deposit 10 dollars they'll match it with another 10 if you deposit 50 they'll match with another 50 and if you deposit 100 they'll match it with another 100 that you can play with make sure you guys click the link in the description and use code young dirk thank you to prize picks for sponsoring today's video we're gonna go point guard very important here we're gonna go six foot eight we're gonna go 219 pounds to get the burly body style you need to to be a point guard to get it at 219 and then for our wingspan we're gonna go six foot nine it's only right we start with the finishing we're gonna go with a 91 layup for that slithery on gold and i'm gonna get deep into this don't you guys worry pause ish i don't know anyway 71 close shot 36 driving dunk i know it doesn't make any sense yet but i will explain it once we talk about the finishing a little more we're gonna go with a 72 standing and a 30 post control just look at all of these clips Layups are so overpowered, it's ridiculous. Let's first start with the Jelly Acrobat layups. You can run straight into a defender. I mean, right into them. Go up for a layup and spam extra square, and you'll get a Jelly that goes in 90% of the time. Like, look at this, bro. It is ridiculous. I say 90% of the time because if someone has like an 80 to 90 plus interior, then they'll sometimes get a contest. And even if they do get a contest, as long as it isn't a red, it's probably probably gonna go in but on like a guard forget it bro it is impossible to stop i was literally running straight into defenders on purpose and as soon as i went to the layup animation i started to spam x and i would just get a easy jelly to score every time besides the jellies the lebron layup package i don't care what anybody says look how far you take off it is the best layup package in the game not only do you take off from far i have never been been blocked on this bro i don't know what it is i don't know if it's it because of how he oh that was clean i don't know if it's because how he moves the ball or whatever but the lebron like bro i'm gliding through people like what as long as the defender is not directly in front of you and if they are you can just do a jelly out of it but as long as they're not directly in front of you you can just hold your shoot button okay from the free throw line or around that area like look at that and they're not gonna get a contest they're not gonna block it they're not gonna do anything and you're gonna score it is broken and if you want to get a little fancy with it we have all of those hall of fame finishing badges now why did we go with the 36 driving dunk and the 72 standing dunk so 2k is very you know it, there's a lot of things that don't make any sense right now if you guys did not know there is like a running standing dunk cheese that all of the comp players do and those are the minimum attributes that you need to perform this now why is this important if layups are op because you just want to get in your defender's head or if the angles like aren't perfect and you don't want to take the risk you can just cross over and just run all the way to the hoop and hit your standing dunks on top of all that, the layups in the standing dunk cheese is way more effective specifically on this build because of the shooting attributes. Let's get into that right now. Now for the shooting, we're gonna go with a 95 mid-range. This is gonna get us Green Machine Hall of Fame. I'm gonna elaborate more on this in a bit. Look at the rest of the badges, like, come on, bro. We're gonna go with an 86 three-pointer for the Agent 3s on silver. 
And then for all the people who play five on five, we're gonna go with a 77 free throw. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, to have a 95 midi, if you're open, it's really, really hard to miss. Your green window is huge and you have an increased make percentage throughout the entire green window. It's very hard to miss. We specifically went with the 95 for the Green Machine Hall of Fame. It is a big jump from gold and bro, after you make two shots in a row with Green Machine Hall of Fame, it is very, very, very hard to miss. I would say it is near impossible because you just have to time it like horribly wrong. And it's not just on fades, it's on every shot you shoot. For example, you green two midi fades in a row, okay? That, that's not hard. Now it's gonna make your three pointers a lot easier. Your quick stops, a lot easier. Everything is gonna be a lot easier to make. The more shots you hit in a row, the more your green machine is increased and the harder it is to miss an open shot. And on top of that, you have all of the other good shooting badges on at least gold. And we still get the agent threes on silver so you can cook up like this and hit some threes. If you aren't the best shooter, I think this is a great build because it just makes shooting a lot, a lot easier. Listen, listen, listen. Here's why this combo of the layup and the 95 midi is so broken and so hard to guard. Let's say I am spamming layups, right? And the layups are super hard to defend. The defender is gonna sit back trying to prepare for the layup, okay? They're gonna run towards the basket. And as soon as I see that, I can just just stop and pop and hit that midi fade and vice versa let's say i hit a few fades in a row they're gonna start to play up and then i can go to the basket for a nice easy layup now for the playmaking we're gonna go with an 85 ball handle but we're then gonna jump down to strength for the physical handles uh this is one of the most broken badges in the game that i just found out about how broken it is and then we're gonna go with a 70 pass accuracy and a 75 speed with ball this right here is the true power of physical handles it is like bro how you, you you actually can't guard it like you just can't so to get that animation as soon as you are in a bump like hip ride animation you're never gonna let go of turbo you're just gonna flick your right stick to the opposite ball hand like you're doing a crossover and you will get that between the legs animation like 80 to 90 percent of the time now there is a small issue okay this only works in the park in the stage and in the theater this does not work in 3v3 or 5v5 pro-am or the rec but you will still get a physical handles animation where it'll like push them off of you out of the way and you can still score off of it now for the ball handle and the speed with ball there's like this assumption that you need speed booster on gold to like cook up and easily score i don't know if you guys have been watching the clips but that is clearly not the case all of my builds and all the builds i'm gonna make in the future are going to have speed booster on silver because gold speed booster is just too expensive within the builder now for my escape because i know this escape is like it's it's not kemba and it's not trey i am using the jimmy butler escape and if you want to dribble like me, I will leave a dribble tutorial in the description and you can cook up just like this. And because you're taller, I feel like you just look a lot quicker because of the height. So you can cook up, right? You, you can dribble, you can three hunt, whatever. You can hunt for the midi, abuse physical handles anytime somebody is hip riding you, and you can do layups and acrobatic layups. Like, how is a defender supposed to guard this, bro? How? Now for the defense, we're gonna go with a 55 interior. We're gonna go with a 78 perimeter for ankle braces on silver. Do not worry that it's a little low. We have nine strength with the immovable forcer on gold and that will make up for it then we're gonna go with the 85 steel for the glove interceptor right stick ripper on silver we're gonna go with a 68 block there we go and we're gonna go with the 35 defensive rebound look at this clip Immovable Forcer on gold has this dude absolutely smothered and he literally has nowhere to go and he's gonna pick the ball up right here. Like, Immovable Forcer is a very, very good badge. When you are guarding dudes, try to really get up on in them major paws, I apologize, but try to just press up as much as you can. And this with the combined burly body style. I don't even have it unlocked yet because I gotta do my Gatorade drills. But burly, bro, every time I play someone with a burly body type, I can like, feel their presence i don't know why but like just the bigger body makes your defense a lot better i've also come to realize that 
steel is a lot better than I originally thought. You just have to know how to time steals correctly. The interior, yes, it's 55. And of course, if you're playing like a post score, it isn't enough. But if you're going up against the guard, just get between them and the basket, put your hands up and you will get a contest and a stop 90% of the time. And the block, bro, it's a 68 block. It's a lot better than not having any block. I get a lot more blocks than you guys would think and a lot of chase down blocks as well. One more thing, and this is very important. I feel bad for anybody that skipped. If you want a ones version of this build, it's even more insane because you're going to drop your pass accuracy to a 55 and you're going to get your perimeter up to an 87 for gold challenger and silver clamps along with the 90 strength and a movable forcer. But that's only if you are a ones player and want a ones build. For the physicals, we're going to go with an 82 speed, 67 excel, 90 strength. Like I said, a 60 vertical for that chase down on bronze. And then we're going to max out the stamina because stamina is very important. Remember, this is just a template. If you want to tweak the build to your play style and the game modes you play, go ahead. That is totally okay. Also, if you guys are interested in seeing me in a $500 wager, that video is on screen. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a good day. Drop a like for me. It helps me out a lot. Go out. <laughs>